Caribou are essential to the way of life of Aboriginal Northerners. With the recent decline in the Bathurst caribou herd, having the best possible traditional, local and scientific information is necessary to help us understand the cumulative impacts that may have led to this change. Cumulative impacts are changes in the environment caused by human developments such as a road or a mine and natural changes like forest fires or thaw slumps that add up over space and time. The NWT Cumulative Impact Monitoring Program, or NWT SIMP, is one of several environmental monitoring programs managed by the Government of the Northwest Territories Department of Environment and Natural Resources. The program provides important information about cumulative impacts to communities and northern decision makers. The environment is a critical priority for the people of the Northwest Territories. It's important to monitor and understand our environment to make good resource management decisions. The Clicho government is conducting an NWT SIMP funded project using an on the land approach to caribou monitoring in the Lucchese region. Petter Jacobson is leading the project alongside elders Michelle Louis Robesca and Maurice Robesca. Faced with challenges from the decline of the Bathurst caribou herd and a self imposed ban on caribou hunting, we started the Boots on the Ground caribou monitoring program in the summer of 2016 to collect critical knowledge about the Bathurst caribou herd and its habitat while in the field. Our objective is to monitor conditions on the herd's summer range by focusing on traditional knowledge indicators, including caribou, their habitat, predators, and industrial disturbance. After two years, we have observed climate change related effects on the land and on caribou behavior. The increasing temperatures in the Arctic melts ice and snow at a faster rate during spring, leaving fewer snow patches on the ground during summer, which are essential for caribou as relief from insects. We have also observed that mining infrastructure can change caribou migration routes. <laughs> First year project results have been presented to communities, governments and co-management boards. They will be used to help make good wildlife management decisions. 